New Albany friends. This is Mrs. Crane. I want to wish you all a happy and safe Halloween. I am here today to read you the book, The Halloween Queen. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have fun tonight when you go out trick or treating. The Halloween Queen by Joan Holub, illustrated by Teresa Smythe. It's Halloween night and Sam shouts from the street, hey, put on your costume, let's go trick or treat. We ring every doorbell. We're not going to stop till we filled our bags to the very tip top. But one house is spooky. I try to sneak past. I don't stop. I don't look. I just run by fast. The lady who lives there adores Halloween. So that's why I call her the Halloween queen. Each year in October, her flowers turn black. A ghost haunts her front yard and bats hang out back. Waves. Wolves howl from her rooftop, cats hiss from her trees. A skeleton family sways in the breeze. The treats she gives out are the best on our block. Still, I'm scared to go up to her door and knock. My friends are not frightened. They tap on her door. Knights, mummies, queens, vampires, and witches galore. The other kids go, one by one, two by two. So Sam says, I'm chicken. He says, I dare you. I take one step forward, one more after that. In no time I'm standing on her welcome mat. My knees are a knocking, my feet are concrete. I take a big breath and I shout, trick or treat. The spookiest person that I've ever seen creaks open the door. It's the Halloween queen. Her fangs are quite ghoulish. Her hair, she has ruby red lips. Her glittery glasses have bugs on their tips. The Halloween queen croaks, hello, with a grin. Her door opens wider. She says, do come in. Before I can run off, before I can hide, she reaches out, grabs me, and scoops me inside. I peek through my fingers, I peer through the gloom. Weird music and giggles float all through the room. I shake and I shiver. Where is everyone? Then I see my friends. <gasps> They're all having fun. A Halloween party. Oh, I should have guessed that Halloween queens would of course be the best. We play pin the sticker on which Wanda's nose. I miss by a mile, I stick mine on her toes. Sam wraps me in paper, the toilet roll kind. We turn into mummies and then we unwind. We paint pumpkin faces, some smile and some frown. Mine looks like a spaceman, Sam's looks like a clown. There's plenty to snack on, it's time to dig in. I cannot decide quite where I should begin. The crab apple goblins all dripping with goo, green marshmallow monsters, some sweet bubbling brew, the critter top cupcakes, a popcorn eyeball. It's too hard to choose one, so I'll try them all. The snacks have been snacked on, the games have been played. At last it's time for a costume parade. Soon the clock in the hall bonks 13 sad bongs. The Halloween queen croaks out 13 so longs. As I look behind me, she slips out of sight. She won't be the same again after tonight. I'll see her tomorrow and more after that, but she won't be wearing her extra tall hat. Her teeth won't be green and her lips won't be red. Her Cackling laughter won't fill me with dread. The skeleton family won't sway on her lawn. The ghosts, bats, and goblins will all be long gone. The Halloween queen will change from a creature back into Miss Green, my favorite teacher.